we're going to be touring the Heart 200, which is one of the newest road trips in Scotland. It only came out last July, and we're very excited to show you guys the best that Scotland has to offer because it's specifically this part of Scotland. It's quite underrated. Most people just shoot straight up north to the North Coast 500. But this new road trip shows you all of the best sites that are in the heart of Scotland. Now our first stop, we're going to Highland Fling Bungie, which is just outside of Pitlochry. And for some reason, we're going to go and chuck ourselves off a bridge. What kind of nuts do you want? I know. Cashews, but... Mentos instead. All the food sorted. We're on our way. Next stop. Bungee jumping time. How are you feeling? I'm, dead. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be worth it. Forwards or backwards? Forwards. I'm gonna have to close my eyes. What am I about to do? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I feel you kind of ran down. Yeah. 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 Oh, we're actually going down the stairs okay. anyway, so it's not even as high up. Right, so we're not we're not jumping from the top. Oh no, we are right, so we're going underneath it. Oh yeah. Dun 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 dun. Welcome to Highland Fling Bungee. What's your name? I'm Gemma. What are you doing today, Gemma? I don't know. <laughs> Three, two, one, Bungee! <laughs> 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 and look at this! 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 Look you had a pretty good scream as well, so uh, well done Highland Fling Bungee. What are you doing today? I am going to throw myself off a bridge. Yeah, for some reason, there's no idea people why. find it fun, so uh, yeah. let's do it. Three, two, one, Bungee! Oh. Wow! So you survived. Success. That is amazing. <laughs> We'd recommend that to anybody. So much fun. I know. So much fun. You don't need to be brave to do it. <laughs> no, I definitely it's wasn't easy. brave. <laughs> you were, you did your jump. I did. I'm buzzing. So buzzing. <laughs> I'll do it again. So that was absolutely incredible, wasn't it? Unreal. I have more words. Stay. So good. Everything so good. about it, I would highly recommend anyone try that. Yeah. The lo even the location. But this time of year, especially because we dived the golden hour, so it was, everything was just a golden light, orange, it was in the middle of winter, so it, like all the trees are like orange and red and that, and it was just simply beautiful. You've got like the mountains over the horizon you're overlooking at, hanging upside down. You're looking like you're trying to bunny hop your way down. That was so funny. I don't know why. Oh man. I run my way back up, possibly. It was absolutely freezing, yeah. um, waiting on there. We're up there for probably about close to half an hour. And um, it's like minus five just now or something, but it's like really cold. So there's a partner cafe in town. And if you are going to do the Highland Fling as well, make sure you go and check this partner cafe out because you get 10% off all your food in it. So we're going to go and get two hot chocolates. Okay. Maybe some food. Excited for hot chocolates. Is there another classic Highlands to Hammocks? Yep. Closed. Yeah, indeed. I would still recommend going if you didn't have a bungee jump as well. you get a discount. Yeah. So, but we're going to go and try and find somewhere else. Yeah. And get Gemma's hot chocolate before she gets hungry. <laughs> that hot chocolate place. It's such a cute little place. It's so cute. It's so warm. Yeah. That's just nice and warm. <laughs> And then you just go. We're Helen's to Hammocks and welcome to our crib. So yeah, we've partnered up with the camper van company Bunk Campers for the next four nights to tour around the Heart 200. It's our first morning in the van and we're parked up by the river in Aberfeldy. 
ready for our first stop of the day and we thought this was a perfect opportunity to give you guys a proper tour of the quite luxurious stay that we're going to be having for the next four nights. So we've been given the Vista camper van which is supposed to be for four people so we have loads of room given it's just the two of us. Now to start off with we've got the cockpit complete with two swivable chairs means I can come round a big comfy seat and eat my dinner like a king while Gemma's over there in the kitchen preparing it. Two spare seats for any passengers you might have and up here is another double bed that can fit four people. It would be quite a tight squeeze with four people but it's definitely possible. Over here we've got the cooker which is complete with a hot water sink. Unbelievable, we've even got a boiler on the van. It's gas powered and battery powered. Double hob burner there as well. In here a huge fridge. It's complete with everything that we need and if we take a look in here, we've even got a bathroom with a shower. So yeah, we've got a flushable toilet and a hot water shower. Which, which you've already made the use of I this morning. I've already made the use of, it was delightful. Um, and we've got plenty of storage for toiletries and everything that you need in your bathroom. Very luxurious having this on board, our little van. And the bed, the best bit. <laughs> look at the size of this. So comfy, so much storage. A little view out the window of the waterfalls and if you've got bikes, there's bike racks on the back of the van so there's plenty of places around the Heart 200 you can go cycling, plenty of nice walks, perfect place to get out in nature which is what we're going to do next, we're going to go down to the Berks of Aberfeldy and check out the waterfalls down there. So it's not a bad little camp spot, we've got be about Three different waterfalls, very small ones at the lower bricks, but still a waterfall, still very beautiful. And you've got all the awesome colours, all the leaves on the ground, it's gorgeous. Yeah, so this is the thing about Scotland, where our forecast for blue skies, nice weather all week. But of course, forecasts mean nothing in Scotland, so we've got rain. Hopefully it's just a passing shower. But if you are coming to Scotland, pack for all the seasons, because you'll get all four seasons in one day. I never thought we'd experience this in the middle of Scotland. Yeah, we've not been on this road before. It's pretty windy. I thought the A9 was like a big busy built up road. This is almost like the Belich Nabar road. Belich Nabar, that's right, yeah. It? Very similar. Again, another amazing thing about the Heart 200 is just the fact that you think, because the A9 is so busy and you go up that, you think the whole of um, your trip is going to be like major roads, really busy cars, but we've just somehow accidentally stumbled across a little single track road with passing places and an absolute cracker of a view. It's cold. It is freezing cold! So we've just reached the little town of Killen and um, we're hoping to get some sh photos down by the river so there's a really really beautiful bridge here yeah, but the Falls of is that what it's called? Falls of Dockart but the sun's setting, it's getting a bit late there's a cute little pub behind us, we're going to go in and have some dinner and hopefully they might even let us camp in our car park but that means we can get down there first thing tomorrow morning and see the waterfalls for first light yep. which should be good Alright, good morning guys. So we are back in Killen and uh, we've come down to the falls. What are they called? The falls of? It says it up there. It says up there. Do Do come back down to the falls of Dockart. Sun's just rising and it's got a gorgeous orangey glow all around the place. Killen is so cute, it is. isn't it? Yeah. It's one of, probably one of the cutest places I've ever been to. It's sitting right in the middle of a glen and there's a river running through it, it splits between an island to come back together through a waterfall. There's a little bridge over here behind us and it's just like, it's something directly out of like Game of Thrones yeah. or something or some fairy tale, it's an amazing place. And here's the troubles of coming down first thing in the morning when it's slippery wet. I thought you were a goner. Out of the way down that hole, that is a lot deeper than it looks. Jesus, down that hole there. 
and it went up to my leg here. What was it like? It was like, I don't know, something like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, you just got sucked away. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought I was going to lose. I just kept going. I, I didn't stop. If both your legs went down there, you'd have been gone. I know, man. The only thing that saved you was <laughs> your other foot. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the hotel. Alright, well thankfully it's quite a warm day today. Probably about five or six degrees, it's not freezing cold. Although if it was colder, then that would have been nice and this wouldn't have happened. Right, well, I'm gonna to need to go and sit in the van all day because my shoe is now soaking wet and I don't have any change of shoes. Oh man! <laughs> so it's part one of our Heart 200 road trip completed, guys. If you wanna see more of the Heart 200 and see what we get up to next, make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Once again, we'd like to say a huge shout out to Bunk Campers for giving us this gifted camper van. We would not have been able to do all of this adventure if it wasn't for them. If you're booking a camper van tour around Scotland, go and check those guys out. We will drop a link down in the description below. If you want to see more parts of Scotland, let us know in the comments down below where, where you recommend, where we should go and see. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and we will see you next time, guys. See ya. So Gemma is braving it and I'm um, going barefoot. Which apparently is the only way of accessing the rest of the springs. I don't know man, the water is about 8 degrees. But if she's doing it then I'm going to need to do it. So I'm going to have to go and get soggy feet again. For the second time today I'm going to have wet feet. 